Gender uh, in general doesn't uh, mean the same thing as women. Gender and women are not uh, terms that are synonymous. Uh, so gender in science, uh, by definition, uh, is not only about uh, women. Gender denotes uh, social uh, identity, social category, and uh, the, uh, uh, the most important uh, element of uh, gender uh, for our purposes is the relational aspect. Uh, so in that sense, when we talk about gender or gender equality at UNESCO, we always refer to the uh, re relational uh, concept. And uh, uh, in that way, uh, gender equality or gender inequality in any UNESCO domain uh, becomes an issue uh, that concerns all genders, not only one or the other. Uh, it's, it applies to science as well. Uh, gender equality in science or gender uh, representation, gender balance, gender parity, these are all uh, terms that uh, refer to different aspects of uh, uh, gender equality and commitments to gender equality. Uh, they are a, an issue, a consideration for uh, everybody who works in these uh, areas. Uh, for UNESCO, uh, we look at uh, women in different levels uh, in, in the UNESCO domains, but also in the UNESCO Secretariat. And there is a serious problem when it comes to women in leadership positions, no matter which sectors uh, you look at. Uh, I have some figures uh, from uh, the high tech area, for example. Uh, I was uh, looking at uh, some uh, recent data, and it turns out that uh, even in uh, companies which are very uh, generation-oriented, very conscious of uh, involving different groups, different age groups, different genders. Uh, there is a, a stark difference in terms of representation of women in technical positions to begin with, uh, but also in leadership positions. Uh, and this is a very serious issue, not only for women, because they uh, don't have the same opportunities uh, for uh, uh, different uh, types of uh, uh, jobs and for different levels, but it's also bad for uh, product development and bad for uh, business strategies. And I think uh, uh, it's, an es it's an especially serious problem in the world of uh, natural sciences. We have a recent report uh, from UNESCO which looks at uh, women's representation in scientific fields and overall, uh, the average for uh, women researchers around the world uh, is around uh, 29%. So it's not even, uh, you know, the critical mass, which if we take the critical mass as uh, 30 to 35%. It's very close, but uh, not there yet. I think in the case of uh, uh, women's representation in leadership positions, especially in scientific fields, uh, you can uh, look at uh, factors uh, that have to do with uh, stereotypes, stereotyping, uh, with uh, uh, biases, uh, unconscious biases uh, on the part of parents, teachers, uh, institutional systems, but also individuals, girls uh, and women themselves. And there is the issue of uh, work-life balance, which really affects uh, women, especially as they climb up the ladder. Uh, I was uh, told by a colleague uh, yesterday uh, at UNESCO that in, uh, uh, among the scientists, uh, more women uh, drop out because of childcare and family care uh, reasons uh, than uh, any other reason, which goes to show that uh, questions related to work-life balance, which we thought were uh, addressed and uh, to a large extent resolved, are still uh, very much alive and uh, very much uh, a contributing factor to women's advancement in different uh, careers. Mm -hmm.